Okay. Hello. Hello, Luke. How are you? <laughs> it's been a long while since it's I've been seen a while. you. It's been a while. Did you enjoy this one? Yeah. It was great fun. That's Everyone it. here enjoyed it, didn't good, you? Good, 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 good. It was great. Okay. Let's crack on then. Okay. What was your first job? My first ever job. Gosh, my first ever job was actually acting in a film. Really? Uh, I was 14. Oh. It was 1979. When Long, long, long ago in a different universe and uh, I used to go to a drama group after school and um, from that they'd heard about an audition. I went along to do the audition and got the part and was making a film in 1979 called Big Wheels and Sailor for the Children's Film Foundation. What's there Big Wheels and Sailor? That's the name of the film, Big Wheels and Sailor. It's about two lorries, Big Wheels and yeah. Sailor and I was on Big Wheels, if I remember. Big Wheels. And my sister screen sister who was in Sailor yeah. got kidnapped and I rescued her. <laughs> he rescued her. Yeah. yeah. And we great. got the baddies locked up. Oh good. That's great. I'm glad you did yeah. that. Oh, I'm yeah. glad you did that. Anyway, question two. How did you start? How did you start? This show. Yeah, this show. This show was well, I've spent 15, 20 years working in newspapers and just about had enough and I quit to go and launch an internet company called My Kind of Place, which is aimed at young people like yourself. And I worked for that secretly for six months while working at the Daily Mirror. The company launched, and in the first week of its launch, I got a telephone call from someone I used to know in my newspaper days saying, oh, well, you've left the newspapers, you'd be free to uh, do a pilot for a, a TV chat show. Mm -hmm. And I went, well, yeah, I've got a new job. And they said, well, you need to come up to Norfolk, you'll need two weeks off work. And I thought, well, I can't take two weeks off work from a company I just started and we're in our first ever week. So I had to resign, so I quit my job, I quit my own company and walked away, which is a terrible thing to do to the people I left behind, but this is what I've always wanted to do, you get one chance, grab both hands, and it's That's worked out right for me. Um, did you start as a journalist and what was your paper you worked for first? Oh, I started uh, straight out of university as a journalist. I worked on local papers for a few years, the Surrey Mail in Guildford, uh, the Staines Informer out near Heathrow, which is a huge local paper, and then The Sun for three years, Today, which is a newspaper your mum might remember. That's you do, don't you, Today, yeah. Yeah. And then finally, The Daily Mirror Rose for five years. You must have enjoyed doing that. I mean, anyway. if I get over and I work for a newspaper, you know what the answer to that's going to be? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hard life, Luke. It is, it is, thank you, it is. Uh, if you didn't do this job, what job would you have liked to do, and why? I would like to be a and professional what? assassin. <laughs> I would like to travel around the world murdering people. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. You should? Yeah, oh, well, oh, there you go. That, uh, as Chairman Mao once famously said, as all your friends at school no doubt talk about this all the time, as, as Chairman Mao once said, change must come through the barrel of a gun. And I think, <laughs> as a committed revolutionary, as a committed <laughs> revolutionary, yeah. so the, only, the only real job for me is professional assassin. They ever done something like that, haven't they? No, no, no. Professional assassin or children's no. entertainer, I can't work out which one. A bit like Philip Schofield. Exactly. Exactly. Like. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on because, yeah. How many exams? Will it take to get into this business? Well, that's a really interesting question. None is well. There you go. None. <laughs> None. Pier, Piers Morgan, who's uh, uh, very, very famous and very successful, uh, he know. he had a place in university but decided not to go because he hadn't really had a job working in newspapers. I've got quite a lot of qualifications, none of which have had any use or bearing on my career whatsoever. I've never been asked to produce a CV. I've never been asked to show any exam certificates. I've never been asked to show that I've gone to university. Um, certain jobs, you can't be a doctor unless you have the certificates, you can't be a lawyer, but uh, working in television, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really you can be great. You, you, you it, get it, away it, with it, yeah. you know, whatever, yeah. Uh, no, well, you, qualifications, oh, sorry. no qualifications, no qualifications, no, no skills, no, no. just do it. Sorry. sorry. Um, you went to the Army Celebrity Jungle, didn't you? Yes, I did. Tell us a little bit about that, because we'd like to hear about that, even well, you would, because you saw the best bits. Yeah, it. It. it was, um, <laughs> it's my favourite reality show, it's the only reality show I watch, actually, the truth be told. And I'm also really into uh, away from work outdoors activities. So I do a lot of camping anyway, a lot of survival stuff. And I go on to islands on my own, hang out for my holidays, catching my own food. So I thought three weeks in the jungle would be easy. And by and large, it was at a really nice time. Lost nice. a lot of weight. Though. You did. Oh, I don't know. I don't know because I wasn't there. So um, I don't do jungles. Do you not? No, I don't. 
Were you frightened of anything? Uh, only, Were you? Only the prospect of staying any longer with Amy Willerton, who was the model in the jungle. No, it wasn't the creepy stories that, 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 that worried me. It was the <laughs> duplicitous yeah. lies yeah, about the beautiful Amy. <laughs> Do you have any hobbies? Well, fishing, fishing, fishing. You love your fishing. I love my fishing. You mentioned about it on your show. Yeah, I love my fishing. Watch it every single day. Good, glad to hear that's why you're so bright. It's obvious. Oh, no. it's mm -hmm. do and you don't like Jeremy Cole. Uh, I don't mind Jeremy Cole. <laughs> and you like Alan Titchmarsh. I uh, quite like Alan Titchmarsh, but uh, fishing is the thing that I like to most. Fishing in the city. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. What is your favourite country you have ever been to? And oh, that's easy. Okay. Yeah. Um, India. No. In India, India is probably my favourite. No. It's probably my favourite mm -hmm. country, yeah. but there's a little offshoot of India. Which is an independent country called Bhutan. We mentioned it today, which is in the Himalayas. And Bhutan is the most beautiful, amazing, extraordinary, uh, unique place I've ever been. It's wonderful. But so India is fantastic too. Um, could you please, please give me some advice for how I can get to do the same business as you? That the professional assassin or the TV? <laughs> The TV prison, not the other one. The first thing to do, don't tell me when you're an assassin. <laughs> What's an assassin? Yeah, 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 exactly, an assassin. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Someone kills people. Kill people. Kill people, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> for money. So we don't talk about professional murderers for money. That, 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 you won't be on a job team. What you need to do, what you need to do is have an interest that you love, okay? Get really, really good at that interest, whether it be gardening, fishing, I love gardening. walking, whatever activity it is. And TV presenting. Well, become a brilliant gardener and then go on television presenting programmes about gardening. That's the best way to get on television, is to present programmes about things you love. Oh, I've got you a little gift. Have you, Have really? you got the green bag? Yes. The green bag. Bring, green on the, bag. Green bag. bring on the green bag! Is it a clip full of ammo for my next <laughs> <laughs> mission? No. I remember you, you remember, I remember you saying that you were going right to be Oh yeah, Bifa. There's no I. There's no I in Ibiza. My uncle used to be a DJ over in Bifa. Okay, okay. That's for you. Does he? Did he have it large? <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you've had a long day here at Christ, you've had yeah. enough of everyone. Yeah. You want to get home. When you get, especially on a Friday, yeah. whatever, you get home, go to this player, play that, and you'll absolutely love can it. Can I have a hug? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. No, I can't tell you. Oh, no! Bye! Thank you! Bye! Bye! Bye.